Thank you very much. Uh, to our Executive Secretary, the former Chief Justice uh, Luke Bersamin. Oh, please, please take your seat. The uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Speaker uh, Martin Romaldes. The retired Chief Justice, uh, Renato Espuno. Ladies and gentlemen, and the very many distinguished guests that are here today, good morning and welcome to the palace. I, uh, I'm uh, very happy that I was invited today to commemorate with you the Philippine Constitution Day, but with a special twist that we conducted here in Malacanang Palace. As we honor the supreme law of the land and perpetuate this milestone, it's important to remember that it is through the lessons of the past that we are able to establish a government that embodies our goals and creates a vision for a just and humane society. As we make sure that the spirit of the Constitution prevails over its letter, we take pride that it reflects the unique history and cultural heritage of our country. It includes provisions that protect the rights of indigenous peoples, promote social justice, and ensures the protection of the environment. More than establishing a democratic system of government ensuring a, separate of a separation of powers among the legislative, executive, and judicial branches. It also guarantees the fundamental rights and freedoms of every Filipino. Apart from being an allocation of power, we must also take to heart that the Constitution is also a social contract where the people have bestowed their sovereign powers to the state for the common good. That is why it is imperative that we continue to bring significance of our laws and constitution to the minds and hearts of every Filipino and continue to encourage our fellow countrymen and women to love our country ever more fervently. In addition to promote, promoting them in our public spheres, we must also recognize that the work of building a truly just and equitable society is a continuing and ongoing process. Throughout our history, the Constitution has undergone several amendments to reflect the evolving needs of our society. It's indeed noteworthy that our supreme law remains a dynamic and flexible expression of our collective will, capable of adapting to the changing times and circumstances of our nation. For this reason, we let the challenges that come our way demand our continued commitment to the, to the principles of our Constitution, as well as our drive to recalibrate the Philippine society for generations to come and in the face of the challenges of the day and of the age. Thus, I acknowledge the efforts of, Philippine, of the Philippine Constitution Association at being at the forefront of defending and promoting obedience to the Constitution and spreading and promoting its indispensable importance. Your tireless work has inspired us all, and I continue that you, I, I encourage that you continue such efforts. I would like to furthermore implore you to continue supporting the government in its efforts to ensure that its plans and programs remain compliant with the tenets of the Constitution and the laws of the land. The field conscious role in safeguarding the Constitution is indeed vital. I am confident, however, that you will continue to carry out such duties with the same dedication and commitment that you have shown throughout so many years. So on this Constitution Day, let us celebrate the achievements of our nation and renew our commitment to building a better future for our country. Together, we can build a nation that lives on the legacy of the valiant Filipinos who fought for freedom and continue to fight for freedom that we enjoy today. I wish everyone a solemn, meaningful Philippine Constitution Day. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Magandang umaga po. <laughs>